week's video. Today I will be sharing with you my favorite fragrances of all time. My obsession with fragrances came about when I was about 15 years old. I remember that's when basically all of the celebrities started to come out with all these different fragrances and I believe JLo was the first one to actually create her own fragrance and I was so excited because uh, I was big on music. I really really love pop music. Uh, I love Britney Spears and she would come out with all these fragrances so obviously I was all about that. As I grew up, my taste in perfumes became more refined and I do have my top ones that I basically have been using for many years and I wanted to share them with you guys. Now the fragrances that I like to use is really based on the weather, what time of the season it is, the occasion that I have, kind of a day to day I use a different type of fragrance, whereas you use one that's fruity or one that's more musky. Um, it really depends. I don't believe in just sticking to one specific perfume and that's it. It really depends on your mood and also the occasion as well as the weather. My I think my all-time favorite would have to be Chanel. I am absolutely obsessed with Chanel. I love the brand itself. Everything about it screams me how elegant it is, but how simple it is at the same time. Obviously this one is an oldie, but definitely a, such a great one. I know a lot of people tend to steer away from this one because they feel like it's an old type of fragrance. Um, I hate when people say that it reminds them of their grandmother. It absolutely does not. I love how... It feels like an empowered type of woman. It has that feminine type of fragrance to it, but at the same time, it has kind of a strong scent. And I tend to keep this for special occasions, um, kind of a night out. And I also did purchase the hair mist in this. These will definitely be the fragrances that I continually purchase. I have to have this in my collection. It's beautiful, it's chic, it smells great, and I just, I really love this fragrance. Okay, second on the list, I love Coco Mademoiselle. So as you see, this one is empty because I recently purchased the new Coco Mademoiselle Intense. Now, these two are the same, but not quite. When you first spray this, it smells just like the Coco Mademoiselle original. But then after a while, you feel different notes of kind of like vanilla, more of a a feminine type of fragrance. Whereas this one, it's, it's more harsher than this one is. I know that they call this intense, but honestly, I don't feel like this is intense in any way. It does stay on for quite a while, as with most Chanel fragrances. This is why I love them so much, but this is definitely one of my favorite. I've been using it every single day, day out, night out. This fragrance is so versatile. Now with the Chanel number no. 5, I feel like this, you can only strictly use it for nighttime. Putting this on during the day is a bit too strong, but the Mademoiselle, definitely day, night, you can use it anytime. It's great, it's beautiful, I love it so much. It's so good. Another fragrance that I absolutely adore that's kind of a for a special occasion nighttime type of fragrance is the Opium. I love this Opium Black. I don't really like the original. That's not one of my favorites at all. But the Black Opium smells divine. It's just so great. If you guys go into any store, if you haven't smelled this yet, I highly recommend that you smell it. It just has that kind of dark, sensual, um, type of fragrance and it's it's great. It's definitely my third favorite fragrance that I own. Okay, next one on my list is more for springtime. I kind of steer away from this one during the winter time. It doesn't feel like it's a winter fragrance at all. I love the Miss Dior. Um, this is the newer one that they have. It's um, the Absolutely Blooming Miss Dior and I love the bottle. The bottle is just so pretty. It's very girly. Very oh, this one, it's mainly used around the summertime. I love the floral scent to it. For this one, I tend to use it during the daytime. It's absolutely beautiful. It smells like spring and summer. That. Another fragrance that I occasionally use is the Chanel Chance. This one is the U Tendre. I think that's right. Did I explain it? I'm not sure if I said that correctly, but it's a Chanel Chance. It's, um, it comes in a pink bottle. I know it comes in different colors and different fragrances. I really enjoy using this one um, during the spring and summertime as well. So but initially I talked about celebrities that used to come out with all these fragrances um, during the 90s and it was just a huge thing. They would just come out with all of these every single year and I was all about it. My kind of taste in fragrances has gotten more refined. I still do pick up 
one of the kind of collection, one of the celebrities, I would say, fragrances, and that's Britney Spears. I love Fantasy. These two, the Midnight and also just the original Fantasy, some of my top fragrances forever. I don't think I will ever stop purchasing these and not having them in my collection. They're just timeless. I love both of them. Nighttime, daytime, um, the bottle it looks beautiful, the fragrance, the smell is just so nice. With these kind of fragrances, they don't tend to stay on as long as the Chanel and the Dior ones do, even the YSL Opium, but they are just very pretty to have. Um, I like to keep a small one in my bag just when I go out or if I'm at work or, you know, anywhere. Now with perfumes, they do take us to kind of a time and place or they can take you to a specific person and, you know, when you smell that fragrance and you say, hmm, this reminds me of this person. Now, my mother mother is near and dear to my heart. I love my mother so much and there are fragrances that when I smell I just remember her. But when I did ask her and I told her which is your top two fragrances that you absolutely cannot live without. And the top one on her list was the Miss Dior. Now this is the original Miss Dior. If you go to Nordstrom or Macy's, you will not find this at all. This one is exclusive to Dior.com. I remember for Mother's Day, usually I always have to search for it and I go to Dior.com to purchase it for her. This smells just unlike any other. Everything that even I own does not smell like this. You guys, if you can get your hand on this, I guarantee you that you will enjoy this fragrance. It's just has uh, it smells like mom it really smells like mom <laughs> it just takes me back to her and I, I really enjoy this fragrance another all-time favorite for her was the Elizabeth Taylor white diamond uh, this one is a drugstore perfume you can get it from Walmart um, it's really easily accessible she obviously purchases this one again and again uh, but these two are definitely her top favorites and they always remind me of mom and that's it for my perfume collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your favorite fragrances are. I know there's a Gucci Bloom that I actually really love and I'd like to purchase it and add it to my collection. But what other fragrances do you guys like? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, I wanna keep this short and sweet. I hope you guys enjoy your week. I'll see you next week in my new video. Thank you so much for watching.